Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Today we wake up to extremely sad news that the state of the Republic of Zambia has abducted an honorable member of parliament, JJ Banda. It's a dark day. It's a dark cloud on our country. On Africa Freedom Day, when every Zambian should be celebrating the freedom from colonialism, we are being thrown back to the dark ages by Haka in the Hichilema. Let there be no mistake. Hand over JJ back to his family and to the nation and to parliament. We cannot, 60 years after independence, go back to the days of abduction, killings, and disappearance of citizens. We went through that in the early part of our independence when you could wake up and hear Archbishop of Lusaka has been murdered on the streets. When you wake up and hear our lawyer, late Ngenda, on his way to Copper Belt to defend the case, he has disappeared on the way. We cannot, Hakainde Ichilema, be thrown back to the dark ages when we should fear going out on the streets of Zambia. The international community must know that as far as Zambia and Zambians are concerned, the disappearance of JJ Banda, the abduction, is authorized by the state. The happenings by the police, where they find a vehicle on the road according to them, they were tipped that there's a road on the vehicle, that's according to Ray Hamonga, they go to the crime scene, which is probably supposed to be a crime scene, and they drive it to the police station with the phones in the car and sit there without alerting the family until, according to them, a member of the family phones them. How about the role of the number plate? Sure, everybody knows in the state that a number plate is an identification mark. It is like a national ID. The police know, Hakaino knows, his associates like Grafio Musamba know. That's why they've behaved with such laxity. And no one, no one should have any doubt. Should anything happen to the Honorable MP for Petauke, Hakainde has his hands deep in his disappearance. For one simple reason. Whenever Musamba and his Kahoot are abusing citizens, he's mute. Whenever UPND party officials are abusing anyone, whether it be a pastor, a bishop, Hakainde's mouth is shut. That is concurrence. And therefore, his officials, his members of the party know that Hakainde enjoys humiliation of fellow citizens. Because if you are a leader with your thought, you should stand up and say, never in my name can you insult a bishop. Never in my name can you threaten a former head of state. Just last week, what was Musamba saying? That they can get to Lungu through he, those who are around him. And that's what you are doing. She's saying, JJ, those are the people you have seen in the last couple of 
days who are around the ECL. So literally you are sketching something that this is what is going to happen to you people. Can you stop talking? Either people are arrested, they are in court, they are abducted, and the so-called leader of this country has his mouth mute. I want the nation to know that whatever happens to JJ, and God forbid, hand him back to his family safe and clear. Because you must be able to know where you have taken him. You have done this before, where you arrest citizens and you hide them for weeks. We pray that that's what you are trying to do. You are probably interrogating him. Hand him back. Today, this Africa Freedom Day is a dark day. No wonder you didn't want to celebrate it on the day that it falls. You celebrate it and usually so on the continent on a day which is not provided for you know you have failed to govern this country look at what is happening the cost of living look at the everything around you instead of concentrating as a president on providing guidance and a way forward out of this economic malaise which you have created. You are spending your time mowing on who next to bring down. The holes you are digging for others, those holes you will fall in them. And you know what the Bible says? When you lay a trap, you as the enemy of everyone else, you fall in that trap. There's absolutely no way you can wake up in a town, in a city, in a country, and the fear of going to see someone in the night. Because we have relatives who are sick, you need to drive to the hospital. Are you telling us, Haka in the Ichilema, that your country is so dangerous that we should fear going out at night? You've made this country so ungovernable that it's impossible to live in this republic. How on earth can a government wake up and increase rates across the board without even going to parliament? You go to this council, rates have doubled. You go to government offices, rates have doubled. You have failed. You are a failure. You must resign. And before you resign, can you hand back JJ? I want to call upon every citizen of this republic, every Zambian, every person of goodwill to actually call Hakainde to account on the abduction of JJ Banda. This is not right. It can never be right. And it shall never be right. We are not going to live in a country like that of Eid Amin. We are not going to live in a country like that which we've left behind. When you woke up in one night, you found my brother Wesley is murdered. When you woke up, you hear, you hear someone has disappeared. When you woke up, you found someone is being tortured. Go and read the human, the Munyama human rights uh, reports and see the atrocities which were being committed in the First Republic and Second Republic. You cannot be a young man born be after, uh, after, before independence, having been bequeathed the power by the people of Zambia to look after them and be the one to be burying them one after another. I want to call you, Hara Inde Ichlem, get up, step up, get Musamba to hand over JJ back to his family. I want to call upon you, step up. If you are not the one responsible, step up and say, it shall not be done under my name. You have been looking at the abuse of senior citizens in this country with glee and gladness. That is not the attitude of a leader. That is the attitude of a person who is a sadist. There's no mother in this republic who wake up and hear their child has been abducted and have sleep. Every mother's womb at this moment is reeling with fear and anger because of the abduction of JJ. Every mother, every woman in this country, 
is angry. You men of this republic, what have what has Mother Zambia done to you? That you should dismiss it, abuse it, and give a black spot to our nation. The beautiful Zambia. The Zambia that the world knows is a peace-loving place. When your police officers say there is insecurity in that place so you can't have a meeting, you are labeling this country as a crime-ridden nation by your own mouth. And now we know why your policemen are saying that uh, there is insecurity. They want to in impart that fear so that everybody is fearful and you are targeting every person who is criticizing you. How could you target young Chisenga without shame? How could you target JJ, young JJ without shame? Every opponent of yours is an enemy of the state. And to this point, these diplomats who are disoriented, like Nick, Nick, Nick Woolley, please talk to Haga in the Ishrem and tell him that this is not the way you govern a country. And we call upon you people who are accredited to Zambia. You are not accredited to Haga in the Ishrem. You are accredited to the government of the Republic of Zambia. And the government of the Republic of Zambia is not Haga in the Ishrem, it's the people. We, the people, we put a leader in office and we take that leader out of office. We put a leader in office so that that leader can provide peace and tranquility. But this UPND government, this Hakainde's rotten government is providing insecurity, fear, and discord. This UPND government, single-handedly, Hakainde and his Mr. Musamba and his Kahoot, are creating a situation which is a risk to the existence of the state. This is how you create a failed state, Mr. Hakainde Ichilema. This is how you create a failed state. JJ's relatives may not come to talk to you. I want you to know that there is no mother tonight who is sleeping. Every mother is on their knees. And the prayer is not about, please, can we have JJ? The prayer is, God, how can we get rid of this man who is an eyesore to the future of our republic? And that man is yourself. I can tell you, there is no mother in this republic tonight, tonight, in the morning and in the afternoon, who will kneel down and say, please protect the head of state. Because you are not protecting the people you are supposed to lead. An honorable member of parliament is part of government. It appears to you, UPND, you don't understand how government works. No wonder you have the likes of Solochi going to register companies in their personal name. In the demised state of Mr. Solochi, if he registers a company at Pakra as Solochi and Sons, when he's gone, that company belongs to him. So what is wrong with you people? Humble yourself before God and before your pastors. The pastors in SDA, can you talk to this man? He doesn't represent SDA. SDA is a church of values. SDA is a church of principles of love and peace. And you have one of your followers, one of your leaders, who is behaving like Lucifer on the throne. He's representing Lucifer on earth. We are tired of being abused, harassed. We are tired of waking up to the misery for each child, each mother, each child on the street. Everybody is crying. And, and you are mute. Instead of addressing these people, don't think that your popularity, whether you jail 100 people, will rise. Your popularity will rise when you do what the people want. Want to work Musanza? Kabayandi, my helicopter. Bayandami, you me gonti a madam. Are you planning for them to have dams? Are you planning for the people of the Eastern Province to have dams? Are you planning? As to how we are going to transit this drought situation and save lives. You are so 
you are so stringently confined in your anger. You are consumed by your anger. You cannot even think that drought does not mean hunger. When there's drought, it doesn't mean hunger. Because a good leader stores grain for their people. Rain is not agriculture. What is agriculture? Agriculture is water. Your role as a leader should be to plan on how we are going to store water for agriculture. You can't continue bemoaning everything and getting yourself involved in the disappearance of Zambians. I never thought that after the Second Republic, we would go back to the dark ages when we wake up and hear a bishop has disappeared. When we wake up and hear a good lawyer has disappeared. I never in my life, after we transited from totalitarian government, ever thought that a member of parliament, a legislator, a member of government, because you people don't understand that opposition is part of government. I never thought, I never dreamed that it would come to this moment. It is for that reason, for that single reason, that I'm saying, step up, get out of your house, get young JJ back to the parliament, back to his family. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.